And we're back with some more RimWorld. And at the moment I'm trying to... What the... That thing just attacked my dromedary. Okay. Well, that was mean. Well, I have Anita over here, uh, pinging away at it with a sniper rifle from a distance. This should hopefully uh, convince it to stop bugging my people. I'm going to drag it out of the way and hopefully riddle it full... Oh, you also shot my pigs. I just let those animals out of that area. You know what? We are going to have to restrict all our animals again. I thought that thing didn't attack animals. Never mind. Animal safe space. All you go. All back to it. Hopefully we can eventually get through this thing's enormous health pool. These things take an enormous amount of damage to kill. Uh, also, they have a tendency to just, you know, shrug off damage that would injure most people because of their armor. These things can take a pounding. Wow. Okay, so it's 3, 6, 9, 10, 11... 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 shots. Still going. This thing just does not know the meaning of the word just die already, would you? Anyway, I'll uh, I'll just keep plinking away at this for a bit. While all that's going on, we got a quest in here from Randy. Incapacitated refugee, a 38-year-old minstrel. Uh, no, thank you. You know what? I think we're good on minstrels. We don't need any minstrels just yet. We shall be okay. I'm still playing Ring Around the Rosie with this, uh, whatchamacallit, mechanoid? They have names, don't they? Where is it? Yeah, never mind. What I've started doing is just waiting here, letting Anita snipe until it almost gets in range, and then run back a bit, and then start sniping some more. These things take an incredible amount of damage to take down. Anita, unfortunately, has taken too much damage, and she's very unhappy, so I'm going to send her back to base to heal up and eat up. Uh, we can come back out and take some more pot shots at this thing later. It's moving incredibly slowly, so it should be fine. Uh, Animals-wise, I'm going to have to let the animals out because currently they're starving. Uh, some of them may get... may wander into the path of that thing. I hope not, but they may. Uh, in the meantime, I've sent Dog's Body down here. Dog's Body's job is going to be to kill this poison ship, which is probably what I should have done a while back. Once the poison ship is dead, it can stop the poison spreading. It effectively kills all plant life inside a certain area. This way, we get rid of that. Then all that's left is dealing with this thing, which should be moving incredibly slowly now. Where's Anita? Yeah, we're going to get her back, get her a meal before hopefully she breaks, and then, uh, yeah, get her fixed up. Her her morale right now is a little bit low. Mood is terrible. Anyway, uh, yeah, we'll skip this forward a bit, and hopefully Anita won't snap. Finally, finally it went down. It took how many shots? An awful lot of shots. It eventually finally fell over. Those things are incredibly tough. Finally, I can let my animals out and they can now get around to eating again. Some of them are actually resulting in starvation because I haven't been able to let them out because that thing, oh, that is an annoyance. Mm. I'll, I'll be more careful next time. Anyway, i got to finish off uh, rebuilding the defences here just in case another raid comes in. Randy is probably going to be along shortly. We all know it. This time Randy's hit us up with a raid. Uh, direction, bottom right. Ooh, yeah. I really wish I'd rebuilt those defences faster, don't I? Mm. All right, so we got to... Eh, not too bad, actually. Mostly ranged weaponry, which means their uh, entrenched position, position should help. They're going to have very little cover to work with. Oh, animals. First off, yeah, we want to put the animals back in the safe zone. Animal safe zone one. Yeah, all the way back there. Everyone goes in that direction. Then we're going to grab the three of them, uh, round them up, and we're going to get them into their positions over here. Though I might want to give De Anita something with a little bit more oomph. I'm thinking, yeah, the assault rifle. Actually, LMG? No, assault rifle will do. We'll equip the assault rifle on uh, Anita, and this should be an interesting attempt at a raid. I really have to replace those walls. I've been way too lazy. I just realized this is one of those pause raids. They're going to take a little time before they attack, so uh, maybe I can get this wall replaced. In the meantime, I'm going to let Kai grab some food. That 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 person is not very happy. They've got malnutrition and stuff. Yeah. Hopefully we can get this up and running before they decide to uh, come in and kill us. No, wait, where, where are you going, Anita? Can it work on need wood? Okay, right. So I burnt through all my wood. That's fine. We'll just cancel some of this. That will give us more wood back that we can use to complete the wall segments. Though I will want to get at least a couple of the traps up, hopefully to take out a few of them. And the raid has started. Let's see. A group of tribes people. Oh, wait, no. It's another raid. Right, so we've got two raids going on. Hmm. Looks like they want to use sappers to tunnel around your defenses. Oh, okay. Yeah, things got real interesting real fast. Hmm. Is that an instant raid? Nope, not an instant raid. Okay, we're going to let Anita tool up, and we're going to get Kai and Dog's body. Hope they don't break, and we're going to get them into defensive positions. Anita's going to put in a second trap here. And the moment that's done, she's going to have to go off and try and kill that uh, 
That's Sapper. Yeah, I think I'm dead. <laughs> well, this is not gonna go well. Oh, seriously? Okay, trap, it's finished. Uh, yeah, you're gonna come with me. Uh, dogs, buddy, you know what? Come on over here as well. We're gonna see if we can't stop this sapper in their tracks. Yeah, well, that didn't go so good. Hmm, now we've got a hole in this side of the wall, and there's no way to replace that. Hmm. Retreat, people. Retreat to defensive positions. Go, 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 go. This one's trying to get up close and personal. Eh. That's not good. What are they equipped with? How have you not shot this one first? They ran all the way across. Muppets. Uh, have they broken yet? No, don't think so. We'll run you over there. I prefer if Kai got hit. Perfect. How many of them are left alive? That's... What the hell? Are they attacking each other? Yeah, you know what? I'm okay with that. I think one group has broken and ran. Yeah, they're fleeing in panic. That means there's just the other group left. Ooh, okay, people. Uh, we're going to want to run away a bit, maybe? Yeah, that might be an idea. How many of them are left? Ooh, seven. Hey, run this way. Oh, I forgot. Kai is going to be absolutely terrible. He is so badly injured and... Well, he's badly injured and his health is terrible. And he's got food poisoning. Yeah, that's not going to go well for him. Uh, I need to just stand there for a second. Dog's body. Yeah. Give them a good taste. We're going to try and snipe them from a distance and hopefully take out a few of them. We just need to break them. If they steal some of my stuff, not going to be too bothered. Anita seems to be getting free pot shots off of them. Though, yeah, they just seem to be m milling around there and doing nothing. This is very odd. I thought they'd at least try something different. I've set up a little ambush here. Hopefully, uh, if anything goes wrong or they try and rush her, I can get Anita out of the way. At the meantime, I'm just going to let her rack up experience pl plinking shots away at them. Oh, would you look at that? Vikinger is having a nice nap while everyone around him is demolishing walls. And they've broken. Okay, so... Well, that's good. Let's see if there's anyone here worth saving. Uh, I'll have a quick look around and we'll come back in in a second. Well, uh, no one's really worth saving, but I think I'm going to take one of... Oh. Are you seriously going to stop to break down a door because it was the fastest way out? You know what? That's fine. That's fine. I'll worry about it tomorrow. There's a bulk, bulk goods trader I'd really like to contact with, but uh, I haven't set up my little beacon or anything. I've captured one person. This guy... Grasshopper, you know what? We'll cancel that. Oh. Set you back to work. And we're just going to clean up the walls there and then, uh, yeah, get out of here. We're going to let everyone go back to sleep and get their stuff together because they're very, very unhappy. All of their moods are in critical break territory and I don't want anyone going berserk. Uh, oh, and someone, someone set a fire before they left. Well, that was incredibly nice of you. Hmm. Let's go put that out just now. That shouldn't take too long. Hopefully. Right, well, there's going to be some repairs tomorrow. And this is why everyone likes to make everything out of stone. If I had the ability, I would make everything out of stone, but I, unfortunately, that hasn't been an option just yet. Wow, more plastic. That's going to make me even richer. I should start selling off a bunch of this junk. <laughs> Death of a sow caused infection. Wow. Gotta admit, Randy, you're being really nice to me. Ooh. And you know what? Those can be allowed for food. We might as well cook them up. I'm gonna lose all my pigs, but eh, it happens. Next up from Randy, we've got a prisoner rescue quest. Uh, 47-year-old VR designer. No, thank you. Uh, disease fibrous mechanites. Uh, who's got it? Oh, this new person that I collected. Well, yeah, I was going to move them into a new prison cell shortly. Well, once, for some strange reason, Vikingers just staying in bed and not getting up. I think it's because the walls were busted. You know what? I don't care, but once those walls are repaired, we'll move Grasshopper in there. We don't want them staying in that room. Uh, I think, yeah, I'm, I'm effectively specializing Kai in... Or, you know what? There was some renaming to go on with this one. I've been advised that his name is not Kai. It's Kali... Like, it's like uh, the Indiana Jones one, Kali Ma... Kali May? 
Kalima? Kalime? It's Kali, but uh, I'm going to rename them to Kai just so that it's uh, easier for me to deal with them. And there we go. We have Kai. I used to work with a Kai, so yeah, that works out. Uh, while the, all that is going on, though, yeah, Kai. Okay, fine, Kai. You can take a nap. That's okay. But once everyone's rested up, we're going to finish off the walls and make sure our defenses are more solid. That last two raids, that double raid, I thought it was a gunner there. We got pretty lucky that they decided to mill around over here and not just swamp us. In true Rimworld fashion, Anita and Dog's body, freshly recovered from their wounds, have decided to get into a punch-up. Well, that's just great. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That's just going to make the day better. <laughs> Muppets. So that will make them uh, a little bit less useful for quite some time. It's amazing how they decide, you know what? There's not enough people trying to kill us. Let's try and kill each other as well. That, that's a really great idea. Uh, anyway, I uh, still haven't managed to have complete the defenses. Once Kai is up in the morning, it's going to be nothing but build, build, build for him. You know what? Uh, I was going to get Anita to do a whole bunch of tree chopping, but unfortunately she's decided to be, you know, not that type of person today and instead just get straight into fights. Uh, Dog's body I have confined to this area and their job is just to cook and, well, just to cook and make pemmican. That's it. I've got them set up to make pemmican forever. And not only that, I've given them a zone. Uh, let's see here, where is it? The cook zone. The cook zone is right here. They're only allowed in this area. They keep the whole place clean and they cook all the meals. Well, they would keep the whole place clean if they didn't just cover it with their own blood. But, ah, it's Rimworld. What else can you expect? Another prisoner rescue quest. Uh, it's enemy outpost. Got guarded by four enemies. 37-year-old uh, digger. I, I really don't care. I... I'm still just barely hanging on by my fingernails here. Oh, which reminds me, Kai, once you're finished with that, I'm going to need you to finish that door. Uh, yeah, don't need... Uh, yeah, I need to get my hands on more wood, don't I? You know what? Prioritize cutting that popular treat, then you're going to make that door. Next up, we got a transport pod crash. Uh, wow, okay, that's really close by. Looks like Randy really wants me to take on another colonist. The body purist trait is effectively a turnoff here. The reason being, Anita already has an artificial body part, and some of the others I am going to have to get bionics on them to replace faulty limbs, so that will just make them hate. The body purists don't like people who have bionic parts, and also if I try and fit them out with bionic parts, they won't be happy. So, yeah, that's not going to go well for you. Bye-bye, you can just uh, die out or hopefully walk away. Whichever, whichever comes first, we don't mind. Well, most of my animals are dying here. They're dying of malnutrition because there's no food left on the map, and I'm not going to feed them. Yeah, I've learned my lesson. I'm going to store up my food and keep it safe. So I'm going to lose a bunch of my pack animals. And wow, Slack has actually gotten up and is starting to walk away. Good job, Slack. Good luck to you. It's where you see that happen. Anita, at the meantime, is uh, I've sent her around to start harvesting out all the trees. And where is she going right now? Harvesting oak tree? I don't remember selecting that one, but fine. Uh, once she's harvested a bunch of wood, we should hopefully be able to finish off this little defensive emplacement, which I want to get up and running soon, and then hopefully not have it burned down on me again, because I accidentally forgot about it. Uh, forgot how uh, those bug things work. Anyway, I'll skip it forward a bit until Randy throws some more fun at us. Oh, and this is the reason here we have a corpse stockpile. This is so that the pigs, w during the winter, can come around and feed on them. It's one of the reasons pigs are so handy. You can feed them on uh, corpses during the winter, you don't have to grow any food for them. Which is a handy way to keep, uh, well, during the summer they can live on all the grass and shrubs that will grow around the place, and during the winter they live on that. Uh, just nice. It's a convenient way of keeping those animals alive, whereas all of my other animals are going to eventually starve to death. I mean, if you check them here, ooh, that one has actually has food. But the rest of them will probably run out of food eventually. But anything that's uh, an omnivore can live off those uh, bodies over there. Next up from Randy, we've got a combat supplier, and since I think Anita is still our best social. Yeah, she may be our best social. I think we'll... Uh, We'll have a quick chat with the combat supplier and see what they're offering. It'd be nice to offload some of the gunk we've accumulated, though. Oh, man, they're not going to take any of our clothing, are they? That's a pity. Let's see what we can sort out here. While they do have some things I would like, I, I, there's nothing really worth it. I can sell them. So I'll just take a, sell off some of the old weapons, accept that, and uh, take the money. A little bit of money can't hurt. And then uh, we'll have to just work on getting more stuff that can be worth selling. For that, I think we've got Grasshopper over here, assuming... Oh, you know what? I should probably... Give them some insulation in there or some uh, some heat transfer. Reason being, I'm uh, I haven't been bothering with the heat transfer in here. So as are they freezing cold? They're probably freezing cold. Yes, yeah, left in the cold. Eight without table. Six serious pain. Yeah, I, I might want to get them in some furniture and stuff to make converting them a little bit easier. And Randy decided it's time for a mad rat. Uh, I okay. Is it gonna? It's probably gonna try and get through the trap section. Though is there any traps up and running? Yeah, there's a couple of traps. Though, 
you know what, I don't care. We'll deal with that in the morning. That is just more of an annoyance than anything else. It'll probably get in and attack one of my animals and then end up getting killed. Uh, next up from Randy, Vikinger has gotten sick from an infection. No one really cares. He, he's just there as a test cadaver. I mean, test human. Uh, then we've got a bulk good tr goods trader, which, yes, I will take advantage of that once Anita, what's Anita's doing? Oh, she's going to feed the prisoner. Well, once Anita's finished uh, feeding the prisoner, we're going to get her to... Wait a minute, where is the bulk goods trader? Oh, is this an actual caravan? Wow, I'd forgotten those things existed. <laughs> uh, maybe they've got something, maybe they'll be willing to buy some of our uh, our clothing and get rid of some of the gunk we've got in store. I'd really like to accumulate a little bit of money so we have some purchasing power next time uh, a, a caravan comes by. A little bit more silver for the pot. Can't hurt. We can, uh, oh, you know what, we're going to grab this. No empty accessible spots. You're telling me we can't still store gold here? You know, I need to change up uh, that for a second. There we go, that's better. Gold and silver will now be hauled in there. I wonder where it's been sitting. I, I I, normally leave stuff that won't go off, like gold, silver, stone, stuff like that. I just don't bother giving a stockpile for it, though, yeah, I really should have uh, made something better. Anyway, our, uh, our defenses are almost back online. Hopefully they won't get burned down again. And then once they're up and running, I can settle into research and getting stone. I want to grind up a bunch of stone so that I can replace all of these walls with brick so that, or, well, some sort of uh, stone material so that I don't have the, the risk of them go bursting into flames. It also is harder for sappers to dig through them, and I want to double layer the walls as well. So lots of construction projects to go on. Uh, another option is I could just pick everything up and bugger off somewhere else, as in go on a... I have three pawns who are not the worst at at uh, fighting. Let's see, let's check the bio on everyone. I mean, we got 11 shooting on that one, 17 on that one, 11 on that one. So what I could do is just strip mine at the map, go to the nearest colony, buy up as much guns and weapons as I can, and then go attack a pirate base. I do have an orbital bombardment targeter. I think I might just do that. Go attack a pirate base and take it over. Because nice as this place is, I don't like it. The amount of effort I had to put into it, uh, it's not really a great map, and there's not a lot of protection here. If I was really going for a good place to stay, it would probably be over here, actually. Is that... Uh, what type of affection is that? Oh, that's temperate forest. That's a flat temperate forest up there? Wow. I was hoping that was going to be mountainous. Yeah, mountainous region is usually much more defensible. What do we got down here? We got uh, Tomahawk Men. Yeah, no, that's flat as well. So all we've got for pirate bases is flat. So I think I might just go over there and capture that if at all possible. I don't know. I'll, I'll read through the comments and see what everyone thinks I should do. Um, anyway, I think I'm going to cut this out here. It's getting too late and I, I hopefully should be able to get this up in time. I uh, hope you enjoyed me still, still not dying. Still have not died in this. And uh, good luck.